Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We continue our lecture on liver wood Still under non-vascular plant So this liver wood Okay, the body form is often flattened Okay, flat eh Have a lobe structure Okay, so the structure is a lobe Okay and this structure called talus. Okay, talus for singular. If plural, they call as tally. Okay, tally for plural. So this talus not differentiated into leaf, roots, and stem. So dia tak ada leaf, dia tak ada roots, and dia tak ada stem. Dia hanya ada satu body. That body we call as talus. On the underside, beneath of the talus, there are a hair-like rhizoid. So this is the talus Okay So Underneath of the talus There is a rhizoid Okay This rhizoid Is function to anchor the plant to the soil Okay So the function is similar to root Okay Root like structure We call as rhizoid And this liver wood They can reproduce Bisexually or Asexually so, sexual production involves the production of archegonia and anteridia of the haploid gametophyte. So, you have to know this archegonia is the female gametophyte. Meanwhile, the anteridia is the male gametophyte. Okay, so this is the uh, life cycle. Okay, of the Macanthia polymorpha, okay, a common liver wood. So, uh, from the word, okay, it states that the dominant generation is the gametophyte. Means the dominant generation for this liver wood is gametophyte. So it represented by separate male and female tally. The stalk, the umbrella shape structure are the antheridiophore. With anteridia that produce sperm and the archegonophore with archegonia that each bear an egg cell. Okay, so let's see the cycle. So this is the spore that release. Eh? Okay, so this spore it will form a gamete cup. Okay, germination of the spore will form a young gametophyte. So this is the gamete cup. Kenapa nama dia gamete cup? Dia memang berbentuk macam cawan eh. So, game cup. So, this game cup will live on the talus. Dia akan betul-betul hidup di atas talus. So, this is the entry door 4. Okay, like an umbrella shape. So, this is the stalk. This is the umbrella shape. So, this entry door 4, it contain the uh, anteridia or the male gametophyte. And this is the stock for the archegonophore. for so if you if you can see both the male and female gametophyte are on separate uh talus dia, dia asing-asing dia bukan satu body ada dua-dua um female and male gametophyte but dia ada uh, satu uh talus with one gametophyte another talus with another gametophyte so this is the the structure eh kalau kita tengok the structure of the anteridia okay the structure of the anteridia and this is the sperm cell okay the sperm cell so this is the archegonia and this is the egg cell so this anteridia they produce sperm cell meanwhile the archegonia contain eggs okay so when do fertilization the sperm cell will go into the eggs okay so each of the sperm cell will fertilize egg so when fertilization happen the zygote will be formed so this is the zygote okay now the zygote will do the meiosis eh, sorry mitosis process and forming embryo okay so this embryo later on it will develop eh? develop and specialize become capsule Ada yang membentuk seta, ada yang membentuk food. Okay, they, they develop lah and then they specialize into certain-certain cell. And the sporogenous cell that undergo the mice. So, this embryo, they akan membentuk sporophyte. Sporophyte is a mature 
individu dia dah mature and then dia dah boleh menghasilkan spores okay so when uh, the structure or when the plant is already mature and can produce spore we call it as sporophyte okay kalau uh, the plant is not uh, fertile ataupun sterile uh, sterile maksudnya dia tak subur lagi uh, so kita panggil dia dalam bentuk gametophyte dia perlukan fertilization baru dia akan develop into a new individual so this uh, sporophyte okay the spores inside the sporophyte will undergo the meiosis so spore yang dihasilkan tadi dia akan melakukan meiosis dulu untuk menjadi haploid spores eh ha, sebab dia ialah satu individu ni ialah uh, diploid okay sporophyte is diploid so bila dia nak hasilkan spores That spore must be do the meiosis process baru dia akan menghasilkan haploid spores. So this haploid spores will germinate and then the cycle is repeated lah. The spores akan germinate into young gametophyte, young gametophyte, okay, in the form of gamete cup. Later on, they akan develop into antrogenophore and uh, some of the gamete cup will develop into archegenophore. Okay, so the cycle is repeated. So this gametangia, okay, gametangia refer to the gamete, okay, both the female and male. So this is a female and male. So the gametangia are born on stock structure, stock structure that call archegonophore and antiridophore. And some liverwood they reproduce asexually by forming a ball called the gamete. Yang tadi saya tunjuk eh, the gamete dalam bentuk cup cup tu. So this gamete are born in a saucer shaped structure. Saucer shape structure ialah dalam bentuk dia macam uh, cup structure or plate eh. Okay, tengah-tengah dia macam ada lengkung. Uh, lengkung. Kalau macam dalam cawan tu kan, uh, dia lengkung kan. Uh, that one kita panggil saucer shape structure. Or the gamete cup. So, it will bond directly on the liverwood talus. Dia memang betul-betul pada bahagian atas eh. Atas gamete cup tu. Uh, sorry, atas talus. Dia akan they are born on the talus. Splashing of raindrops and small animals will aid in the disposal of gamete. So, apa yang membantu dis, uh, distribution or dispersion of the gamete ni ialah raindrops and small animals. Okay. When a gamete land in a suitable place, It grows into a new liverwood talus. Liverwood may also reproduce asexually by talus branching and growth. So this is the second asexual. Okay, second asexual reproduction by the liverwood. The first one is the uh, production of the gamete cup. Okay, and then the gamete cup can develop into uh, archegonophore or antheridophore. And the second uh, asexual reproduction is by talus branching and growth. So, the talus, the body of talus tadi, dia juga boleh membucah, eh? dia akan membentuk dua. Okay, ha, macam tu. Lebih kurang lah eh, gambarnya. Ha, so, dia boleh branch and then membentuk a new uh, clip ataupun uh, new groups. Eh? Ha, so, ini pun salah satu cara macam mana dia nak buat asexual reproduction.